Oh, hey there, people of the grid. Micah here. I'm in Edmonton. My day is done. I just grabbed a bite to eat and I'm back in the hotel room. I thought for today's video, I would take you through something new that I picked up, a new bag. See my old one, it was getting kind of full. I needed all my stuff for my daily work, my iPad, my phone, my charge cable kit, a lunch for that day, all the uh, little stuff that I carry, my knife, my card keys, my wallet, um, you know, you name it. So anyways, I thought I would uh, bring you guys up to speed and show you my new bag. I did a lot of research. I watched all of the bag videos so that you don't have to. This bag, by the way, didn't really get a lot of reviews. Chrome doesn't send out their bags anymore to a lot of uh, bag reviewers, so it doesn't appear on the radar. But I did a bunch of research, and it really comes down to there's, I guess, three kinds of bags. Yeah, let's break it into three categories. Bag type number one is your backpack. There are people on this planet that will always be using a backpack. They love them. I have nothing against backpacks. I just haven't been able to get into the backpacks. Then there's bag number two, which is kind of the the, the briefcase carry style. It's a briefcase, it's got a handle. Maybe it's got one strap that goes over one shoulder and it hangs off to your side. That's the second type of bag. And then there's the third type of bag, which comes pretty much from the messenger world and the bike riding world, which is your messenger style bag. Also known as in smaller formats as a sling bag. The messenger or the sling are worn crossbody like this and they sit on your back. So check this out. There it is. There it is. When you're walking around, if you need some stuff, you can swing it around to the front like you can with any sling bag. And you've got access to the main compartment. This one has an outside compartment here. You've got access. I like nice big pockets and I don't know why. And then it's got a little pocket in the back where you can keep, where's my wallet? Right now it's in my pocket. Look at that, from Waterfield. That's my wallet, so I usually keep that in there because that's right up against your body. Okay, so I've got my wallet. I've got my uh, card keys. I've also got a little vitamin kit. It's another, what I had, I ordered two. This is the canvas one, which I use as my wallet. I love it. It's it's like amazing. It's got all my cards in it that I need. And then if I need change, I throw it in there. This one, I just got my daily hit of vitamins. I take one orange, which is just a multivitamin, one white, which is a, it's a glucosamine. It's for joints and stuff. I don't know. I figure it'll help. It seems to be. So yeah, those two things are in my bag. That's all I've got in that back pocket. Now, oh, one thing I should tell you is that it does have a nice quick release and it's got a strap keeper. So this little guy just moves up and down so that, you know, the strap doesn't flop in the wind, especially if you're on a bike and hit you in the face. That also gives you more room to work with if you don't want to take it off. The only drawback to this bag is you got to take it over your head. Unlike my other chrome bags, which have a seat belt buckle, this one does not. But you know what? I'm okay with it. My my other uh, briefcase style bag that I used to use from chrome, it went over the head too, and I've gotten used to that. No big deal. Okay, so let me show you kind of what I've got in here. Um, oh, and these things are kind of nice too, because these can be expanded. You can put a coat on the outside, a raincoat or something. You can throw a carabiner on if you want but it's got this massive outside pocket. Now, in all of the videos that I saw of this, this pocket does not go up, it only goes down. So look at all that. Look at all of that. Okay, let me show you what I got in that front outside pocket. It's just basic stuff, go-to stuff that I wanna to get to really quick. Um, oh, got my reusable forky, my reusable spoon. Bigger, uh, they just work and they last forever. And when they break, then I get another reusable plastic fork or plastic spoon. I think I've had these guys. This guy's from Disneyland. So this is uh, a few months old. This guy too, I think. So yeah, it, and it's lightweight. Got a hacky sack. Pokeball, in case I'm out with Tammy and the kids. 
Ooh, I got a little memento from Disneyland. I like carrying little things like this. They just make me happy. I also have another one that's uh, the Virgin Mary. Tylenols in case you get a headache, because when I get headaches, I can't just go home. I got to finish my day. I got a set of mints, and then I usually, I just refill those with whatever kind of mints I want. Look what I, I found this the other day. It's a tiny one, so I may actually just move to this, make it lighter and leave this in the car, or I might end up carrying both. Um, got some tea that I carry with me. I usually restock two or three and just have them with me. These are breakfast uh, granola, cinnamon apple, because uh, sometimes you need an extra hit of breakfast. Oh, and I think this is a key fob that I need to return. So that's all I've got in the outside pocket. So I'm just gonna kind of separate these two so I can show you later all together what's what and what goes where. And then on the inside, like I said, it's got enough room for all of my gear. So it'll actually fit a, all of my gear, it'll actually fit in the very back there, a 13 inch MacBook. Now I haven't tried to stick my 13 inch MacBook there, but I, I believe it, it will fit. I'll do it one day, but uh, got a bag for the rest of my lunch that I bring, usually healthy stuff, carrots, celery, whatever. Okay, let's start with the tech first. My uh, iPad Pro that I love. So this thing just uh, sits in, in the back. It's in a padded space too, which is really nice. So we'll just put that there. If I need any kind of papers, I usually carry a magazine. Um, we get this once a month, Disney Files, and then I put all of my important papers inside of that so that they kind of stay nice and straight. And for the most part, the magazine has protected them really really well so we'll just put this underneath the ipad this thing also from waterfield this is killer because in here i've got all of my cables i've got my airpods i've got headphones for the airplane i also have adapters for my iphone or ipad so i can hook into a vga projector or hdmi i got it all usb memory sticks uh, c and a and then all the cables that I need to charge all of my stuff. So when I travel, I just need to bring this one, this one cable kit. It's got all the cables for my iPad, my phone, my watch, even if I brought my Mac, charge kits in here for that. So that's an important thing to have. And then I added this, I've had it forever, I haven't used it. This is just a really thin, it's also from Chrome. Um, just a thin thing for receipts, so receipts, lottery tickets, you know, that type of stuff. So that goes in there. Throw in some business cards that I pick up from here and there. So those will be in there. Oh, I got a pen. <laughs> Funny story. I've been using my iPad Pro for, since it came out, I got it in uh, November of 2018. I think they were announced in September or something. I love this thing. I actually, this is my main computer. It does everything I need it to do. I update websites with this. I do work with this. I run our home with this. Everything, all, all of our investments, everything's on here. Um, and of course the cloud. Now, because I use it so much, look what's happened. Look at that. You see that? My, my letters, they actually have come right off because I use the keyboard so much. The letters came off. Now I know where the keys are, except when it's dark. Yeah, I kind of like to, you know, I'm, I still look down, even though I've been typing on a keyboard my entire life, I've done programming, I've never left a keyboard. In fact, my writing is horrible because of so much keyboard. Anyways, so the key scraped off. So that's where this guy comes in. I thought it was a felt tip marker. Turned out it's a ballpoint tip. So I thought it would be okay because I couldn't find a felt tip in the store. I'm going to go back. But basically what happens is I write the keys on and then as I use them, the oils in your skin seem to expand the ink and then just eventually turns into a big smudge. I think it looks kind of cool. It's pretty steampunk. I may actually even get a different color. Like I tried silver, but that went really bad. Gold or even red. Red is a good steam. So yeah, so I got that pen. I've got my favorite pen that I have had my entire life. Oh, it's a Mont Blanc pen. Every big important deal I've signed, probably the first time I wrote the kids' names, I've used this pen. And now 
it's just my little buddy. Again, it's a nice thing to have. It's like a little friend with you on a road trip. Road trip. It's good to have little friends with you on a road trip. That way you don't feel lonely. Okay, so I got that pen, and then I, I have the best, in my mind, and it's been voted by several people, the best mechanical pencil that's out there. It is a, uh, I think it's by Sharp Pentel. It's a carry. K-E-R-R-Y. Just search for that. Comes off, so it's actually nice and small. The end goes on there. You can push the lead out. It still works. Or you can push the lead out just with this end here. So I love cool stuff like this. It's very tech. It looks very tech. Look at that. It's just... It's a cool looking 0.5 millimeter lead pencil. Leads are all inside. Um, I loaded it up. So usually I carry an extra lead thing too, but it's loaded like for a month. And then, uh, oh, and then one other thing that I have in the bag that I just leave in there, it's a crossbody strap. So if you do wear it crossbody, you can actually throw a strap under your shoulder. My other messenger bag has this. I've never used it. I've been on bikes, I've been on motorbikes. I just find I haven't needed it, but um, if I do, it's in the bag. And then the last thing I have in there is my um, pocket knife. This is a new one I picked up. It's from Leatherman, one of my uh, favorite knife companies, because this is so cool. I'll, maybe I'll do a separate video on this, take you through the details. It's okay, enough about that. Okay. Put them away and let's uh, take a look at what we got here. So there's the bag. Here's the stuff, my card keys, my wallet, a couple of uh, pills and medicines. Those go in that back pocket there, which is actually pretty big. Look at that, you can get that much of your hand in there. And it goes from here all the way over to here. So it's actually, Actually a pretty good size, goes in there. Nice padded back. And then this stuff, my iPad, goes into the inside right in there. That's the uh, iPad pocket. And the news, the magazine just goes on top. This stuff just goes on top. And then you have this big, pretty massive cavity that uh, I use to hold all of that stuff. And I also put my lunch into that middle compartment so I get a bunch of carrots in there some celery I usually do two or three apples a banana or an orange all of that stuff fits in there nicely actually for this trip I was able to bring three days worth of lunch in that bag which I couldn't do with my old one so that's that's the game changer for me this goes inside the middle compartment this goes in the middle compartment uh, my pens here go in the middle compartment and then that leaves all of this stuff to go into that outside front pocket right there. So yeah, that stuff just goes in that outside front pocket, which the, the thing I, like I said, let me unzip it. The thing that I really like is a big, it's nice to have a big cavernous pocket. No organizers there, don't need them. Got some organization on the inside. There's the organizer that my plastic bag goes in and then a couple of slots for pens and pencils. That's all the organization I need. For the rest of the organization, I rely on this type of stuff, this type of stuff. Everything else just goes in. My hacky sack, my mints, my fork spoon. I can find all of that stuff by feel. My Tylenols, if I have a headache, I can find that tube by feel. And I know where it is. The uh, back pocket, which holds, you know, my wallets. And my cards. Perfect. Oh, one last thing I didn't show you guys. This bag, it has a handle. So you can actually carry it like a briefcase style bag. Do, 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 do. Going off to work, do your stuff. So you can carry it like a briefcase style or you can wear it crossbody messenger style. I love that. You can also wear it just on one shoulder, right? So I can carry it just like my old bag. So I have almost three carry styles which is awesome. It's something every bag should have. At least two different carry styles, three is ideal. This handle, I wish that my uh, wish that my other messenger bag had it, but um, you know, for this, for me, this is perfect. Let's get it loaded back up. Oh, one last thing before I tell you the tech specs. It's got this, so it, it, this is a kind of a weatherproof, uh, 
It's a 500 denier, 500D, um, like a tarp liner. And then inside is a ripstop nylon. So it's, it's pretty waterproof. This, this main zipper and the outside zipper, except for this one under the flap, this one is kind of a, see it's the, the waterproof style zipper. So that will keep the water out. The other thing that looks kind of cool in the video, and it is, is the, the side of it. So it kind of expands. See that sliding thing, how as you fill the bag, it, it just kind of fills out more. So it grows to accommodate that space. And it, I think it just looks cool. It's, it's more a looks cool, but I think there is a function. The idea is that you don't have, if you don't have a lot of stuff on there, the bag sits a lot, uh, a lot skinnier and thinner on your back. So as far as an everyday carry bag, this is the one to get. Yeah, so my old bag that I had, my old bag was 11 liters. I don't know what that is in gallons. You can, you can use a calculator, internet. Um, this one is 14 liters, only three more liters, but it's made the difference of not squishing my lunch when I take it to work every day and being able to carry some extra stuff that, you know, if I pick something up along the way, it can go in the bag. I don't need a plastic bag or anything. Love, love, love it. It's always a tough decision for me when I'm getting a new bag. I do a ton of research. Like I said, I watched all the videos. This one for me, look at the zippers. Solid. Okay. You guys take the rest of the day off. We'll catch up tomorrow. Micro out.